Good morning, Scorpio. Well, it's morning for me. So it may not be morning for you, but it's morning for me. Okay. Scorpio, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at love, money, and a general message. So stay tuned if that interests you. And if it resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads and stay tuned, okay? Now, uh, Scorpio, the first card out. Okay, this is for love. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So you may have, you know, and I feel like, you know, lately, Scorpio, you've been kind of going through it. You've been going through these repeating cycles a lot, you know? Doing your readings, there's a lot going on with you and ex-lovers, right? So I feel like, you know, this may be the time to release that energy. Stop going through that cycle, right? So let's take a look at your money. So after we pull these oracles, we'll get into your message. We have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Hey, so you're popping out here in a very strong way. Okay, work through your fears, Scorpio. Okay, and your angel message. What do we have for Scorpio? We have, you are safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. So you are being protected, Scorpio. That's beautiful. That's beautiful energy. Okay, at the bottom, we also have clairvoyance. Archangel Raziel, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love okay so beautiful energy coming out for you scorpio okay let's take a look at the tarot and see what is going on for scorpio let's see what's going on for scorpio What messages do we have for Scorpio spirit? Give me a message for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, okay, so I feel Scorpio, you know what, I feel like you don't have any problem getting offers, right, this King of Pentacles, is coming out offering stability offering something stable okay there is a knight of cups who may be approaching you with an offer you know someone wants to take you out someone wants to spend time with you right and I feel like this, this Knight of Cups is offering you stability. This Knight of Cups energy is coming in with this King of Pentacles, right? And <clears throat> he's offering something solid. This could be a man who, or a woman, who has a good career, good job. You know, they have all they need. 
the only thing they don't have, Scorpio, is you. Right? So let's see what else we've got here. Ooh, the chariots. Okay. And the strength card. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this, Scorpio. Okay, at the bottom we have the Knight of Swords. So, we have the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Chariot, and the Strength card. Okay, so I feel like you're, you're, if you were able, now this message is going to resonate for some of you, but this message is going to resonate for a lot of you, right? If you had, a, uh, had to release an ex, you know, if you had to really clear your energy from this ex, you know, now you're able to really see things clearly, you know, you're able to move on without any baggage. So I feel like you're able to finally pursue something stable, something solid. This Knight of Pentacles, excuse me, this King of Pentacles is moving in the right direction. If you see the chariot, it's moving straight towards this King of Cups energy, right? It's moving right towards that King of Cups. I'm just kidding. I'm getting all mixed up today. Knight of Cups. That's what I get for doing a reading before my coffee first, right? But... Yeah, I feel like yeah, they're moving towards you. They're moving towards you. I feel like this person is very strong, very capable. Um, has a lot of confidence. Okay. Um, they may be traveling to come see you. You may have met this person online for some of you. But we do have the strength card here. So I feel like this person is very strong, very capable. They may be a Leo, um, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, another Scorpio, um, or Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Maybe a Cancer. With this chariot energy. Okay. But I feel like this person is very solid. Tell me more about this person. Spirit. Give me another message about this person. Tell me about this person. Who's coming towards Scorpio. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at this. The only thing they don't have is you. That's the only thing they're lacking. They're not lacking on anything else. But I feel like this person in a past energy, they, they weren't appreciating in their situation. They were really taken for granted, right? They... That, that I feel like that's the reason why we have the strength card here. Because this person really didn't feel like they were appreciated. They didn't feel like, you know, um, their efforts were being rewarded in any way. Right? They were lacking in that area. Because they have money. They have stability. Right? Right? People just may have appreciated the money, but didn't appreciate the person. Okay? So, very interesting. Yeah, I feel like this person has been through a lot. And now they're looking to just balance things out in their life. 
they feel like you're their balance. You know, you may receive some kind of message from this person. You may receive some kind of text. But they definitely want to hear what you have to say. Okay. Um, definitely. Okay, let's clarify these real quick. Okay, Spirit, when will this King of Pentacles, when will this energy come through? I have cards mixed up in here. I don't want those. Okay. When will this King of Pentacles come through here? Give me a message for Scorpio. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles energy coming through for Scorpio. Oh, there's been some holding back. There's been some delays. I feel like one of you is like caught up in your thinking. You're being held back by your thoughts, you know, in this prison that you've made for yourself you're kind of blocking yourself and it could very well be you Scorpio dealing with all of the pain that you've had to deal with you could be just taking some time out right tell me about this offer okay this is a very sincere offer this is a very sincere offer, but I feel like, you know, you're like, I may not be ready, right? We have the Knight of Cups again on the bottom. So with the Knight of Cups twice, I really feel like this person will be willing to wait. They'll be willing to patiently wait on you. You know, let you heal, go through the motions because that offer is stable. It's like, okay, I'll wait it out. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. My offer is solid, right? The Pentacles is very stuck energy, okay? They're not going anywhere. They're very stable. They're solid. They're stuck in their place, right? So I feel like this offer isn't going anywhere. You, you're you able to take the time that you need to heal, to think, to get out of your head about the situation. Because I feel like this is a very sincere offer. This king is pouring out his emotions, right? And the Page of Pentacles, this offer is solid. It's real. And it's willing to wait you know it's willing not to go anywhere why you take the time that you need okay so that's very beautiful energy but i feel like you're kind of conflicted scorpio because i feel like this may not be this king of pentacles this may not be your usual type you know they may not be the usual person that you're attracted to. Because I feel like you're like, should I pass this by? Should I? You know, you're all up in your head with questions and answers. You're like locked in your thoughts. Yeah, the King of Pentacles again. He's, he's standing by. He's still there. You know, he's not going anywhere. So I feel like this person sees you as someone of great quality. You know, you have a beautiful personality. You have a beautiful way about you. And I think they see that people have taken advantage of you in the past because of the way you are, okay? 
And I feel like this person wants to right all the wrongs because I did see the justice card in there. Um, when I was shuffling along with the two of cups. So this person wants to right all the wrongs, right? Um, so very interesting. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to money. What's going on with Scorpio's money? What's going on with Scorpio's money, please? Messages for Scorpio. Wow, too many cards. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you are becoming more stable in your situation. You're using your resources wisely, you know. You're taking care of business. Um, I do feel like there is something that you need to work through your fears about. Definitely. Whether this is love, money, or somewhere else in your life. There are some fears that need to be worked out. Okay. Um, give me more of a message for Scorpio's money. What's going on with Scorpio's money? Okay. The Page of Cups. The Three of Cups. So you're being supported. There's people around you who are helping you. Look at this. We got the King of Cups again. Wow. So you may be, you may be an emotional spender. Right? I feel like you're pretty good with money, Scorpio. But I feel like you're an emotional, an emotional spender. Okay? Um... And I feel like when the opportunity arises, you like, okay, I'm in my feelings about this. Let's go shopping, right? Is that you, Scorpio? Is that you? Because we have the Empress on the bottom. So I do feel like things are coming into place for you. You do have stability. You do have support. So you may have people around you who are helping you out. Um, you also have the page of cups. So I feel like people are offering you more resources or you're being offered those good jobs, right? But, um, yeah, I feel like money is not an issue for you. I feel like you'd want more money. Yeah, you definitely want more money. We have the Empress and the Four of Pentacles. So, um, I feel like when it comes to money, you're kind of on your game. You're looking for that long-term stability, but you're very good at balancing your budget, you know, putting money where it needs to be and, um, saving. Okay. So I, I feel like money is not an issue for you at all. So if money is not an issue for you, you... If you feel the need, you can skip this process right here. But um, I feel like you, you like to be social. So you like to be around people of like mind. You know, there is someone around you, someone that you haven't expected, who may be being a little sneaky, who wants to run off with something of yours, you know, who wants to take rather than give someone's not being forthcoming okay um someone's being a little sneaky and conniving but i feel like for the most part you're happy you're celebrating and you know with today being easter morning this is a really good card for celebration we also have the Nine of Cups at the bottom. So you do have some kind of wish fulfillment coming through. This is happiness. This is material abundance and good health. Okay. So that's beautiful. We also have the Knight of Wands energy at the bottom. And the Knight of Wands. This is... This could be a person coming into your life who is a free spirit. 
It could also mean that you're traveling, going on a journey, taking an inspired action, right? Hmm. And I feel like you're not quite sure about this journey. You're like, mm, I don't know. You know, you have the, the Ten of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Cups is a good card anyway, so um, I feel like it just means that you're kind of upside down in your feelings, you know. And we have the Empress in the reverse in this one. So I feel like, hmm, how did that Empress get in reverse so quickly? You, you are insecure about yourself. I feel like you're insecure about a lot of situations, Scorpio. That's what I'm feeling. Because a lot of these cards are upside down. Where at first they were right side up. You know, I didn't turn them upside down. You know, now the emperor, he's, a, he's upright. Because I feel like you have the need to control your situation. You really have the need to control your situation. You want things this way. You want things that way. I mean, you you are very particular about certain things, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify for money while I stop rambling. Okay, tell me more about Scorpio's money, please. What's going on with this? Queen of Pentacles and Three of Cups. What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles and Three of Cups? Okay. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for some kind of news. You're waiting for those ships, right? We also have the Five of Wands. So I feel like with with the Three of Wands and the Five of Wands, you're like on this verge of discovery. Okay, you're discovering something. You could also be planning to travel, you know, <coughs> because the Five of Wands, this can actually be. Um, Challenges, obstacles, but it's also being very playful. You know, work hard, play hard. Right? So I feel like, you know, you may be going on a trip or, or planning on a trip. Planning some kind of travel. Um, but I feel like with this Three of Wands energy, you're growing, you're learning new things. You're learning new ways to use your finances to your ability, right? Yeah, because the Five of Wands, they're also learning. They're training, okay? And we have the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like, okay, now we have the Five of Pentacles twice. We have the Knight of Cups. We've actually gotten that in this reading three times already. Okay, so I feel like this Knight of Cups is very prominent. This Knight of Cups wants to take you away from the lack. They want to take you away from whatever it is that you're missing, right? Um, they want to make you feel appreciated, you know, um, put above other things. You know, they want to make you feel whole. Okay, they don't want to make you feel lacking or left out in the cold. Okay, so I feel like this king, uh, excuse me, this knight of cups, he's making, a, you know, he's making himself be known in this reading quite a few times. We also have the lovers on the bottom. Okay, so you may want to take a second look at this knight of cups energy because he's steady showing up. Okay, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, there, there's movement here. 
You know, there's someone who's traveling to see you. There's someone who wants to take action. You know? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Someone's being very assertive. You know, going for what they want. Not caring what anyone thinks about what they want. They, they just want what they want and that's it. You know, but she's a go-getter. She doesn't stand by. And I feel like there's someone not making choices. You know, someone's just sitting still. The Page of Wands. Okay. Yeah, there's someone just sitting still in this situation. They're not making any choices. Is that person you, Scorpio? Are you not willing to make a choice at the moment? Okay, let's take a look at your general message. Let's take a look at your general message for Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. There's those choices, okay. We have the Empress again. This time she's in the upright. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting that you're putting yourself first in your situation. We also have the Five of Wands again. Yeah, you're putting your, yourself first in your situation. You're leaving all that negative behind you. You're like, I'm done with that. It's over. You're releasing that energy. You know, you're setting yourself as a priority. You're setting the stage for what's important to you after releasing this energy. So I'm really liking this. You're actually seeing yourself as the Empress. So that's beautiful energy, Scorpio, because that means you're putting yourself first. You're putting your needs first. You're taking care of the people around you. You know, the Empress is a good mother. If you have children, you're a good mother. You could be a single mom, um, but you take care of business. You're very fruitful. You know, things are coming together for you. And I feel like you have struggled with this for a long time, but now you're like, you're learning something different. You're learning a new way. Tell me what this Five of Wands is. Give me a message for this Five of Wands for Scorpio. What is this Five of Wands? What is this Five of Wands, please? The Page of Pentacles. You know how valuable you are, so you are seeing your self-worth. You're seeing what's valuable within yourself. Okay, Scorpio? And I feel like you're in this good mood. You're very enthusiastic. Okay, this is good news, good fortune, good um, good vibes, raising your vibration, okay, with this page. Now, you're just learning this. This is new, so this is very immature, but, you know, you're learning this nonetheless, okay? So you're learning how to put yourself first. You're learning how to delegate and team up with other people to fulfill your needs. So I'm really liking that. Look at that. The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, that's going to bring you wealth and abundance because you're able to really focus and not, you know, carry all the burdens. You know, I feel like you're creating healthy boundaries. You're, you're finding those healthy standards that are going to be good for you and your family, right? And I feel like, Scorpio, you put your family first. Yeah, you're walking away from this player energy. 
This King of Wands, I feel like this King of Wands was a player. He was like out to just have a good time, you know? I feel like you're walking away from that. You no longer even have to make, make a decision on him because he's taken enough from you. Mm-hmm. I feel it. Because once that King of Wands came around, then all the energy started to reverse. So, yeah. I get it, Scorpio. Okay. Give me more of a message for this Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Empress. Give me more of a message, please. What does Scorpio need to know? <clears throat> the other Queen of Swords. You have clarity. You have full understanding. Oh, okay. The Seven of Cups. You're no longer looking at the illusions of things. You're looking at the opportunity. You know? And the Nine of Pentacles. So... The Nine of Pentacles on the Empress. I feel like this is, I can do bad all by myself, right? Um, you've got this handled and you're willing to do it on your own. You don't need anybody else's help. You know, I feel like you're, you're the strong, capable, luxurious woman who's very self-sufficient. You could be a woman or male, right? It doesn't matter. But I feel like you can, you can do it on your own. So you feel very capable in this Empress energy, but you also feel very capable in this Nine of Pentacles energy, being very independent, okay? Waiting for your fruits to come in. And I feel like you, you are finally understanding, you're finally getting clarity on this, and you're finally accepting the change, accepting the transformation, okay? Um, Leah, yeah, look at this. You're accepting the transformation. We have the death card and then we have the empress again. You know? So you are finally accepting how beautiful, how glowing, how wonderful you truly are. You know, you're going through a lot of changes. You're going through this like metamorphosis where you're going from this caterpillar from this caterpillar to this beautiful butterfly. Okay? So that's how I'm seeing you. Look at this. We have the two of cups. So there's love here if you want it. You know, there's there's love. There's partnership. There's friendship. Um, but you do have love here. Because people see you as the empress. People are drawn to the empress. Okay? So yes, that's what I have for you. So let's get some angel cards <clears throat> for Scorpio. Let's get some words from the angels. Okay, so we have Archangel Michael. Here we have you are safe again. Look at this. You are being really protected. This is the second time. Archangel Michael has come out. So definitely, you're being divinely guided. Look at this. You're being divinely guided. Okay? So, you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Okay? So miracles are happening for you. Okay, let's give one more. And we have magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Okay, so there may be something that you're manifesting, especially with this Empress energy steady coming out. The Empress is a master manifester, right? She can manifest anything that her heart desires because she has the ability to focus and set her intentions high and also bring whatever it is that she sets her intentions for down to earth with her intuition and her insight. You know, she's at one with the universe. Okay? So she's that master manifester. So, yeah, there could be something that you're manifesting at the moment. Okay? 
So let's get an angel number for Scorpio. Okay, we have 1818, optimism, successful manifestation. See, look at that. Successful manifestation of your abundance is near. Higher levels of optimism are needed as new abundant beginnings are on the horizon. Brighter days always come after the darkest nights. Okay, and your affirmation Everything is in perfect order as I enter into this next chapter of my journey and connect to the abundance that is near. Okay, so that is your affirmation, my beautiful Scorpio. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements. And until your next reading, Scorpio, many blessings to you. Love and light.